Hello everyone, welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. In this video, I will be showing you five green screen techniques for Animal Crossing. These are various techniques you can use to elevate your Animal Crossing videos. Some of these techniques are going to include both video and still photos. As you can see here in this setting, I have a live video going on in the background. That's like a onsen loop video from YouTube. So I'm going to show you how to use these green screen techniques using OBS and yeah, let's get started. First, you're going to need to go to your custom designs. You're going to need the DIY learning cards from the Nook Mile machine that teach you how to do custom designs. I think it's called like Custom Designs Pro or something. Uh, so if you're new, make sure you have those. And once you do, it'll allow you to do so much more with your customizations and your own designs. Go to your custom designs, find a square that you want. You're simply going to color the entire thing green. I'm using the first color palette and it is the fifth color from the left. So I just take that green and go to the fill bucket. Place it on here. There you go. You're done. Name it whatever you like. I'm naming it green screen because that's what it is. <laughs> and next you're going to click it and then you're going to go down to place on the wall. You can do place as is. And now you have a green screen room. So you can do this on all your walls if you like, or you can do it on an accent wall if you want only one wall to be a green screen in your home. If you do have access to the accent walls, that can definitely come in handy if you want to use the rest of your room for something else. Now, in order to do something with this wall on OBS, okay, don't mind this, it's going to look a little weird right now, but this is just because it's showing my entire screen. So once you get on OBS, you're going to want to go over to your video capture device, which is the input for your Animal Crossing footage. You're going to want to right click that, go to filters press the plus icon under effect filters and you're going to click color key. I already have it here so I'm going to click the eye icon to make it visible. When you go on here it's going to already have green as the default uh, color to key out but I like to do hashtag 1AFF1A I like to use that color specifically because the lighting on the ceiling of the room, the default lighting, tends to make the green on the walls a little bit lighter in some places. So using this shade of green is pretty good at getting out most of the green in the background. Because if you use the default green on here, you're going to have most of it keyed out, but there's going to be like some specks uh, every now and again that are lighter and just kind of floating there. So you want to make sure you can get all of the green out. So feel free to use this shade of green for reference. And if you come down here to similarity, this is what's going to control how much green you are keying out. You don't want to do too much because it's going to affect the rest of your scene, um, but do just enough. I'm going to leave it right there. You can also do smoothness. I've found that this tends to help with items that have reflections on them it tends to absorb the lighting from whatever your background is going to be and makes it a little bit more believable. So once you're done fiddling around with your settings, you're going to press close and then you're going to come down to sources, press the plus icon and go to window capture. You can do browser or display capture, whatever you like, but I'm using window capture because it seems to be the easiest to work with uh, for me. So I already have it here. You're going to do your window and when you select it, you're going to pick whatever window you want. This one for me is my Firefox browser with a YouTube video open and has a, you know, a little loop going on here. So. There you go, you're gonna click that and then you're gonna press OK for whichever window you want. I already have it here, so I'm gonna make it visible. And now you can see that it is appearing in the background. So what I did for mine, this is a whole other thing, but you can also click filters on your window. 
and come over here and you can adjust uh, the color through color correction. If you have any plugins like I do with blur, you can blur it out to make it look more believable and that there's more of a, like a depth of field there. So yeah, those are some, some helpful tips in terms of editing the background. But yeah, so once you're done with all that, you're gonna close out and let me take you back. Here we go. And as you can see, now we have a live background. So you can use this for, you know, if you're doing a photo shoot, if you want to do a short film and you want some scene in particular, I mean, you can make it floating through space, you know, if you wanted <laughs> pretty much anything. Just think of your room that you were doing this in as your studio and you're building a set and the rest of the set is a green screen. So if you keep that in mind, it can be pretty fun. You can do a lot of interesting things. So that is the first technique for the green screen on Animal Crossing. The second technique for using a green screen on Animal Crossing would be just using a still image. So if we come back over on OBS and we go down here, if you click the plus icon under sources and then you go up and click image, you can import whatever image you want. I already have an image here, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that visible. I have a, a bamboo forest. As you can tell, the bamboo forest, the angle of the photo doesn't look very believable with the angle of Animal Crossing right now, but that's something that you can fiddle around with if you want. So, I don't know, I guess that doesn't look too bad. But yeah, so you can use a still image if you want. Uh, if you're just going to be doing it for photos or if you don't mind having a still image, it also probably uses up uh, less RAM as well. So that is the second technique. Okay, so the next technique that I'm going to show you guys is using a green screen on a screen. So for example, I'm going to be using it on this laptop here. And I'm doing this in Happy Home Designer because it's going to be a lot simpler, a lot quicker to show you. So let's get started. You're going to go ahead and customize the screen. You're going to go over to your custom designs and go down to the green screen that you made earlier. You're going to select that, press confirm, and there you go. Now we're going to go back into OBS and we're going to go back down to our video capture device press filters and then go ahead and add your color key again. I already have it here, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it visible. There we go. Now I'm gonna exit out and you can add an image if you want through pressing the plus button down here and just adding an image, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a video. So you can do that by importing a media source or I'm gonna do it through window capture and the window I'm gonna capture is a YouTube video from my own channel. So I'm gonna put this on the computer. I'm gonna make it visible now. There we go. And now I'm just going to need to turn off the display. But before I do that, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm going to come down here and I'm gonna select window capture. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust the size of that video and then I'm going to place it over the screen on the laptop but you can't see it right now because I'm having this uh, capture my display so give me one second okay so I'm gonna go back on happy home I'm gonna go and set up my scene once again going into my camera using the pro camera you are gonna need that and you can find that through the nook mile machine the pro camera gives you more abilities for uh, your camera and different filters and different settings you can use. So that is what I'm currently using. That's what I'm going to use for this. So let's put this back here and let's pretend that this is our scene. So now I'm going to go ahead and click my window capture from OBS and I'm going to drag it onto this screen and I'm going to fit it to that screen 
I'm gonna flip it around. There we go. And yeah, there you go. Now it looks like you've got a video on the screen. You can put video games on there. You can put all kinds of stuff on there. You can mess around with the settings to make sure you don't have little tears on the sides like this. It's just a matter of tweaking it and making sure, you know, it's, it's gonna be circumstantial based on whatever item you're using and the lighting in the room. So keep that in mind. The next technique I'm gonna show you is very similar, but I'm gonna go ahead and move. I'm just moving on Animal Crossing, leaving all the settings the same on OBS for that laptop. Except now I'm going to face this vending machine. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag that video on here. So now you can do the same thing, but you can put an advertisement on here if you wanted. So let's find an advertisement on YouTube. Okay, so now we have some ads playing on the vending machine. So if you're setting up a scene and you wanna do something cool like this, maybe you have a cyberpunk setting and there's a lot of videos playing on things, you could do that like this if you wanted. And you could do so many different layers and do this on multiple items at the same time. And once again, it's just a matter of tweaking the settings to make it look believable and convincing. You can do this on almost any item that has the custom design option that allows you to select your green screen custom design. So yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. If you happen to use this technique, let me know. I'm very curious. I'm probably going to be using it on my own sometime. But now time for the last technique for this video. Okay, so for the last technique, you're going to go and find a room. You're going to make the walls and the floor green. So go back to your custom designs, select your green screen, and then place on wall, place as is. Click place on floor, place as is. Okay, so you're going to do that. And then now your entire room is green. So if you don't have happy home or you want to use a room in your house, I suggest using the first person camera so that way you can push in and get rid of uh, the dark corners by just focusing on the center of the wall and then switching it to tripod camera because then you can move your character over here like so. So now doing this, this can help you isolate your character and use them just for reactions or whatever you want to use them for. So now you can use this to isolate your character and place them over whatever video you want. I personally like to keep it like this and record it and then add it on top of my videos when I'm editing and then I can use them as just isolated reactions and place them over anything. But if you're doing this for a stream, you can place those videos behind it right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the color key again. And now you can see that it's keyed out. It's okay if you have little green spots here and there, if you're trying to isolate your character, as long as they're not touching your character or they're not too close. This is because when you click the color key, you can adjust it here, yes, of course, but you can also go down here to the plus icon. And what you're going to do is add a crop filter. So now you're going to be able to use this to cut out those green spots. So now that we have adjusted the crop setting and the color key, you got to tweak it around a little bit until you're able to make everything disappear. Once you do, you can press close. I'm gonna go back to it for you guys. Here we go. And now you can see we just have our character floating around. So yeah, of course you can use this to be silly like this if you want, or you can use it to completely isolate your character and overlay this on any videos. You could put it over your stream if you wanted. You could put it on your intros, you know, whatever you wanna do. 
That has been five green screen techniques for Animal Crossing. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Which of these techniques were your favorite? Did I happen to miss any? I'm hoping to make some more videos for Animal Crossing tips and tricks, but that's going to be it for today, you guys. So I will see you next time. Bye.